Hello friends, hola amigos. I'm back again with another request video on the 70mm dash cam. So here you see the Pro Plus Plus cam or the A500S is the official name, I guess. But it's the same principle for all the dash cams. And this question from Malaysia is about the hardwire kit and the parking surveillance mode. And more specific, how can you see if the parking surveillance mode is activated? So let's go to the menu. There you go. And here you can see this little P means that the parking surveillance mode is activated. The car is turning, you can see the car is turning right now. The parking surveillance mode is activated. And when we go to the menu itself, there you go, parking surveillance. So it's on high sensitivity. So fans of the channel may remember the video that I posted lately that my parking surveillance saved me more than 1000 euros. Some old lady crashed in the back of my car when I was parked. So I don't regret my high sensitivity at all. If you don't have the hardwire kit set up or it isn't set up correctly, you won't be able to access this menu at all. So when you click on the parking surveillance mode, you get a little error message that says that you need a hardwire kit. It's the same for the time-lapse recording. You wouldn't be able to access this menu neither. Now when we turn off the car, now when the power turns off, this dash cam goes to time-lapse mode as I have my time-lapse activated as well and the parking mode is activated as well. As long as it has enough power, this little light will stay green. When it goes to battery saving mode, so that's below 11.8 volt, then it turns off completely but the parking surveillance mode will stay activated. You will also have a little voice sound that announce in which mode it goes but you have to be a little bit patient to hear it activated and if you have a parking surveillance video as soon as you get back in the car it will announce new parking surveillance video available entering time lapse mode so there you go i hope this answers your question don't forget to let me know in the comments what you think about this device and stay tuned because very soon I will test the new version, the A510S with a new hardwire kit that has 4G. So stay tuned. I'm off on holiday in a couple of days. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the very next video. Bye bye.